Okay, lot 29, 33-3. This is a gilt, and it's a pace car. And pace car recently had some success down there at Indiana State Fair, signing the champion barrel. And this is back on the King Dirty Punch, a 27-1. That's already made a track record in her sisters. And the end of this one's made quite a, quite a uh, splash throughout. And then we've got the couple pace car uh, sons that are causing a stir here for us uh, this fall. Uh, summer would be uh, fast track and happy hour. Yeah, I mean this this guild's awesome. I mean just square built and stout and deep looking and everything and everything and everything. I mean what do you want to say about it? Has a good underline looks like oh, too. Oh gosh even. darn it. She's that's, even got an underline. That's an extra. I don't I don't know if Mitch is looking for a guilt but this one might want to be on his list and, and you get on the back side of this pedigree the, the King Dirty Punch, those 27s I've said it before, they're they're all over our pedigree stuff and, and there's a reason they are. Um because they're good and they're consistent. And then, uh, like Ben said, you, you throw in the pace car, and uh, this guild is just dang good. I mean, just just a very good very good animal. Yeah, th yeah, this one's this one's special. And, and how good have the Dirty Punch females been for this firm? I mean, it's probably second to none. Oh, this one's just, yeah, just made so correct. So correct, great look and square. And muscle pattern looks like it's going to be about perfect. Uh, this one's just really good.